In our last video, we showed you the progress of soya value chain cultivation in Oluch and Kimi irrigation schemes in Homabe County, where seeds distribution and planting was taking place. Our team travels back to the same county, but this time we visit Suba region of the county where soya is ready for harvest. Join us to learn more about the impact of Digifarm on soya farmers in Sindo, Suba sub-county. Named after its people, Suba sub-county lies on eastern shores of Lake Victoria. The islands of Mfangano and Rusinga also form part of the sub-county. The land is home to Ruma National Park and was also home to one of the Kenya's greatest son and political leader, Tom Boyer. The area has a vibrant beach life and is famous for Omena. Most of the Omena consumed in Nairobi and other major towns comes from this region. The soils and the climate of this region are conducive for soya value chain cultivation and in March this year, Digifarm recruited farmers to plant soya. Florence Atieno was one of the farmers who was recruited by Digifarm. Vile walikuja, waka tu, tu, nikasikia bari yao, walituweleza wakona semi na hapo nyatoto, ili walete hii kilimo ya Digifarm upande huu kwa jidi ya hiku kwako. Sasa ndiyo nilisikia hii bari, nikaenda hapo, tukafanyiwa semina, sasa ndiyo tukachukua mbegu, nikalema. Sasa mimi kama mkulima nilijaribu na eka moja. She has managed to harvest five bags that will be purchased through Digifarm. Florence is very grateful to Digifarm for coming to Sindo. Hii kilimo ambao tumeletewa tena na Digifarm, tumesukuru sana kwa vili zimeshikana na safariko. Sasa tumejua, itatuendekesha vizuri. Nimefurahia sana. Nimeshukuru. Ten kilometers away from Florence in Wangneno village is Mr. Peter Okombo. He has also tried his hand at soya cultivation. What drove him to join Digifarm? Tulipata ilimu kabisa. Wale tuelemiza, njinzi, tunaweza tunza, mbegu ya soya, kwansia siku yenye tulianza kupanda, kupalilea, adi tuitoe kwenye samba. Alafu tukamua tupande juu hapa kwetu saa zingine tunakoza hizi mimea ya pesa. Peter is still in the process of harvesting his produce with some of his produce threshed and winnowed while the rest is awaiting threshing. Hizi ndiyo magunia yenye nimeza toa na zingine bado siku kwa stores ya igonga. Saza nikona matarajio hizo zingine nikiza toa zitatoza magonia zingine tena Just like Florence Peter is thankful to be part of Digifarm Nimeshukuru sana kampuni ya Digifarm Ni baraka tu wajua mkipata baraka kama hii tunasema ni baraka juu wakulima ni wengi Kenya pia ni kubwa lakini mkipata wageni mmepewa loan na mnapanda na baadaye ndio watakata na ubaki na pesa kidogo sasa nashukuru muendelee na hii kazi apart from assisting farmers in Homa Bay County Digi Farm is providing job opportunities for locals by engaging them as extension support officers and Digi Farm village advisors one such person is Edwin Kisera a graduate of Ijaton University who is supporting farmers in the county we normally advise farmers on various types of uh, seeds they need to use. We do soil sampling and testing, then we advise them on what to do and how to plant. After farmers have planted their crops and they are in the farm, we normally visit them to tell them how they can control weeds. The, there's what we call conserv conservation farming. We advise them to use things like mulch, they do mulching. We advise them on how to control their soil by uh, avoiding erosion. Yeah, they can construct contours and how they can plant so that they can avoid loss of soil by erosion. I love interacting with farmers. We interact, 
I, I, we find out the problem, we solve. Solving farmers' problem is my passion. Edwin is assisted by Weekly for Chido, a youthful son of Sindo village. I'm the DVA, a DG farm around the Sindo area. Uh, my work entails, I do visit farmers to see on the challenges they face on the ground and how they go on with their farming. When uh, soya was brought for the first time, uh, uh, the, the, the farmers that got the information went to the collection point, uh, the places where the soya, the seeds were being taken. They appreciated that it takes some short duration to, for to harvesting period, and it does well. Then it is drought, drought resistant. So when I walk around, uh, most of the farmers would also like to do it next time, provided they will bring it back. There are farmers that are ready even to do it at uh, 10 acres. The process of weighing is currently ongoing and Digifarm staff are visiting farmers to assess the soya and weighing it. Sasa hapa, kupima tunapima the soya that has been harvested, it has been threshed, it has been winnowed. So now we are, we are measuring it using a digital machine. You put it on and then you make sure the farmer, the farmer, mkulima anaona iko sawa. Kama ime, iko, kama iko sawa. Yes. Huh? Sasa tunaanza kupima. Tukipima. Ete yu nini? Ile teni hapa. Tuna inua juu sasa. They are also assisting the farmers to enter their details on DG Soko platform to complete the sale of their produce and await payment through M-Pesa. Aptec, an aggregator for Bitco oil refineries, is buying the soya produce and delivering to Bitco oil factory. Already we have got seven tons that have been already been weighed, which is waiting for the buyer. To do everything for the buyer. The buyer is on the ground, is uh, uptake, who is uh, taking it to build co factory in Nakuru. Most of the farmers harvested within the area's estimated average yield, but there are a few farmers who suffer total crop failure. One such farmer was Mr. Clement Olo from Ongayo village. Planted during the start of rains in April, around, uh, around 5th, 5th and uh, around between 5th and 7th of April. So I planted soya. So after which it took two weeks from that date, there was no rainfall at all. So there was poor germination because I planted when there was a little rainfall, it rained. So the soil was a bit, a bit the moisture was, was okay. So after which it took two weeks, so the ammunition was poor. So you could see them, one there. So I was even defeated. They, the germination was very poor. And there were, there were, there were very few plants of soya in the, in the seed bed. Clement and his fellow farmers from Ongayo village will get reprieve since they had insured their crop with Digifarm. Insurance will compensate them and offset their loan so that they can access input loans for the next season. I shall be compensated among other farmers because uh, we paid money for insurance. It was around 310, 310, 390, 310 uh, for insurance. So in case of anything, you can be compensated. So I felt happy I could be compensated. Despite the challenges, Clement is upbeat and will continue with soya cultivation. I'm not at broken, I can try. Farmers never, never, we always have high hopes. Hey, I, I still want to, I still want to repeat it once again. I know I will want them to, to do sampling of my, of my soil of my farm so that I know the, 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 the right species of soil that uh, is required to be planted there. Digifarm is committed to hold farmers' hands every step of the way. As they prepare for the next planting season, they can toil confidently knowing that they have a partner in Digifarm who will never abandon them.